hello there in this video i am going to solve the active menu problem using jquery now what this active menu problem is if you notice from my previous video that if i click on about this menu is not highlighted so i want to highlight this menu so that i can guide the user which menu is active right now so that's what active menu problem is if you download any template this is the most common problem that you will find so if i click on contact again you can see there is nothing happening online shopping that's fine it is displaying you the home page but for about and contact it is not displaying anything so i will solve this problem in a very simple manner so in my first step i am going to add the id to the list of element in the navbar.jsp so i am going to quickly open my navbar.jsp so once this navbar.jsp is open i am going so this is the list of element this where i am writing this about view products contact so in this li list element i am going to add an id id will be equal to i am going to keep the same id as about not necessary you can give any id but i would prefer it to keep it as about here i am going to keep it as list products and here i am going to keep it as contact so this is the first step that you are going to do by providing an id to the list of element now why i am providing this id so that i can get this list of element in my javascript code to assign some class so that is the first step that you are going to do now you, you need to add a small script element in the head section so whatever code that we are going to add will be becoming part of my window global object so i'm basically going to create a menu as a property in the window global object so i'm going to quickly do that also i'll go to my head section in my page.jsp so i open this page.jsp just below the title i am going to write a simple script and i am going to create window dot menu equal to now here i want to assign some string so what string i am going to assign so i am going to use the strategy of assigning the title itself so as you know this title we are going to get get from the page controller this page controller so everywhere i am passing this title 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 so this title will be coming from the page controller so it will have the value as home about us and contact us so that's the script element that we have added here now in my third step i'm going to create a my app.js file so this is my own coded javascript file that i'm going to add in the js directory of the assets folder and i'm going to link it so i'm going to go to the assets folder right click on js directory new file and the file name i'm going to keep it as my app.js once this file is created i'm going to link it in my page.jsp so i will go just below our this bootstrap file i'm going to write self coded javascript and i'm going to link this thing so i'm going to copy it this js we have already defined as a spring url variable here instead of bootstrap main i'm going to say my app.js so this is how you can link your own javascript file here now i need to add a function when the document is ready using the jquery short and function so in this my app dot js i'm going to code our jquery syntax so i'm going to use our short and method of function open close here to semicolon now i'm going to use switch case to solve that active menu problem so let me commit it out solving the active menu problem now inside this switch in my page.jsp as you can see i have already used a menu property so this menu property i am creating here so i'm going to use the same menu property here simply writing here as menu now i'm going to create some cases so case as you know in switch case we need to use case i need to go to that particular case when menu will have some kind of a value and what value it will have as you know it, we are assigning the title value so i have home about us and contact us so i'm going to use about us 
here this about us will become the case and I'm going to fetch the jQuery element using the jQuery selector so the selector would be hash about so that's why I've created that particular ID in my nav bar so if I open this li you can see this ID so this list of element would be selected and I'm going to add a class dot add class the class name is active semicolon and break similarly you're going to do it for contact us and we are going to add a default case nothing assign home as the class of active and I'm going to give it a break and so this about it would become contact and this case will become contact us so similarly you can add more cases for login register later later on so I have added about us contact us and default case and adding a class of active so we have coded this switch case element and added a class of active to the list of element that we have assigned the ID in the first step so now I need to just test it so I'm doing a control F5 so that my catch gets clear now you can see I'm in the contact page and I have got this as highlighted now if I click on about it will go to about page and this would be highlighted I have not coded view products yet but yes definitely this about is getting highlighted and if you move to contact this is getting highlighted so that's it in for this video in the next video I'm going to fix the footer problem now what this footer problem that I'm getting I'm getting this footer here but I usually in ideal scenario it should be displayed at the bottom but I'm getting it here for pages with large content than your screen height it is displaying properly but not for this contact where the content is less so I'm going to make sure that this footer always displayed at the below so in that I'm going to fix that footer and also I'm going to show you a tip where I can change the theme of the page because this is right now looking very plain there's not, no code has been added yet but yes definitely we're going to code it and I'm going to change the theme of the page. Thanks for watching.